Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about these two palettes right here from the brand Alter Ego. Now Alter Ego is what's known as a dupes brand. So they dupe more uh, high-end popular um, products. And the Blooms palette is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Love palette. And the Canyon palette is a dupe for the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So if you're interested in seeing about these two palettes, then just keep on watching. That's coming right up. Alright, the first palette that we're going to talk about is the one that I have on my eyes right now, which is the Blooms palette. And this is what it looks like right here. I'm going to uh, pop a picture of the Natasha Denona Love palette up here on the screen, which I do not have, so I'm not going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, I told you this when I did my C Color Dupes palette. Um, if I could afford the actual high end palette, I probably wouldn't buy the Dupes palette except to compare them. But as is as it is, I only have the Dupe palette. Um, now there's 16 colors. Now my bad, there's 15 colors, and the color names are Penny. Azalea, Daisy, Kala, Black Dahlia, Snapdragon, Fuchsia, Petunia, Lily, Lush, Violet, Orchid, Petal, Rose, and Hibiscus. Um, what I have on my face today, um, I started out with this color right here, which is the peony color. And I used it um, as a transition shade. Then on top of that, in the crease and just a little above it, I have this color, which is the, darn, Azalea color. See that right next to it. Then I darkened it up with Snapdragon, which is this one right here. Um, and then when I got to my lid, this is when I started having some issues. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to um, go into the, uh, on my lid with something a little more neutral. So I said, well, heck, let's just play up these purple colors. So I went ahead with this violet color right here in the outer corner and then i was going to put this orchid color on my lid well this orchid color doesn't show up and i said well that's not gonna work so let's try the fuchsia color that one's pretty but it didn't really translate onto the lid the way that it looks in the pan. So I ended up just putting violet all over my whole lid, and then I went back in with Snapdragon and Azalea and just kind of buffed it into the crease. And I used this uh, Kala, which is this color right here, mixed with a little bit of this Lily color right here and that's what I used in my inner corner and to highlight my brow bone. So with that being said and not having used the Natasha Denona palette, I can't say how they compare to each other. I can only tell you how I feel about this palette and I will tell you that I don't think that these palettes are my most flattering colors. I have just started experimenting with using these colors um, on my eyes. My eyes are green. 
I'm 57. I don't want anything that's going to call attention to the darkness that I have under my eyes and deep in these corners. Um, but I have found a trick to wearing colors like this without being completely washed out. And the trick is black eyeliner. The trick is using a black eyeliner on your lash line to break up the space between your lashes and your eye. I used black eyeliner on the inner waterline and then I used a black eyeliner on my lower waterline. I did use Snapdragon and Azalea under my eyes and I found that the minute I used that black eyeliner on the inner waterline. Um, it completely broke up that space between this color and my eye. And instead of it washing me, oh, look what I did. Be back. <laughs> Where'd it go, Carrie? Well, that was a hot mess. I don't know how, I didn't even realize I had that on my hand next thing. I knew it was all over my face. Um, anyway, um, that's the trick right there. To make your eyes pop and not completely wash you out, um, that's what I found works for me. And that made these colors a little more wearable. Now, the Canyon Palette, which is a palette for I mean, a, a dupe palette for the bronze. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to do a look here with this palette coming right up. Okay, I changed a few things up here. Um, I've got, I went in with the um, Alter Ego Eyeshadow Primer. And we're going to get this Canyon palette and see if I can't come up with a look. Um, now, the colors on this one, which this is, um, as I said, a dupe for the bronze palette from Natasha Denona. We've got Mule, Desert Sun, Plateau, Scorch, Expanse, Blaze, Russet, Cliff, Cougar, Sear, Earth, Coyote, Rattlesnake, Rust, and Desert Moon. Um, this is a very, very warm palette, um, which I tend to think those colors don't look as good at, on me as a cooler tone or a more neutral palette. So, again, I'm experimenting with something I'm not altogether comfortable with. So... Let me take me a sip from my Dragonfly In uh, cup. And I'm going to start right here with this Rattlesnake color and go on in. So, I know there are uh, scads of these reviews on YouTube on these two um, particular palettes. Um, again, I don't have the high-end palette to do the comparison, but I thought maybe it, it might at least be, you know, helpful to know what the colors look like, um, how they perform and um, maybe just kind of keeping Natasha Denona out of it, just how these do on their own. Um, I'm gonna go in now with Mule.
and I'm really just kind of gonna go exactly where I was, but maybe concentrate just a little bit more in the crease. These really, these mattes, um, which I did notice in the Blooms palette, the mattes are um, very pigmented. They are not patchy whatsoever. Very blendable. So, no complaints there at all. And I do have one Natasha Denona palette. Um, it isn't one of these um, that these are dupes for, but I do have one. And so I can at least say that I know how they perform and I prefer the mattes to the shimmers in the palette that I have. So I'm gonna change colors and I'm going to choose to go in with Russ, is that Russet? Gosh, I can't see anything. Yes, Russet. So I'm gonna go in right in the corner in this outer V with Russet. Oh, that is very pretty and very pigmented, very. Y'all, I don't know. I mean, I see a lot of people in a lot of these, um, I don't know, Facebook groups and a lot of comments being made um, on other YouTubers' videos. And I, don't, I just don't know where the people get the kind of money to spend on cosmetics that they do. I personally have never been able to do it. Y'all, I'm looking for my favorite brush. There, nope. Not it. Oh, I've stuck it somewhere. There it is. Y'all, this brush, I can't remember where I got it, but do you see how humongous it is? And I love to just make sure that it doesn't have any product on it, and I like to just go in and soften the edges when I get to this stage, and I think that this brush saves my eye makeup every time. Um, I am going to, for some reason, I'm very drawn to this cougar shade, um, but I like the, goodness, y'all, I'm so sorry, the Scorch shade also. So I'm gonna put the Scorch right in the center wow right in the center y'all that's gorgeous now i don't know how it really looks on me but the color itself is insane oh my goodness all right and I'm gonna go, gonna go into the very corner with Cougar, but I need another finger for that. Man, it's hard to pick. There are so many beautiful plateau looks like. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna swatch that one for you because it's more of a um, reddish. It, it's a it's a dual chrome. It might even be a multi chrome, but it that's that's not. I don't want to bring any of those colors in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with Cougar. I'm gonna go right here with this finger and go right right in the corner. Oh. M G. Oh, look how pretty. And I don't know how other people do it because I get it. I get it under here every time I use my finger. 
So I just like to go in with just a, a little puff and just kind of kind of wipe that away. But I love the look. I love it. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take dirt and I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and go right on the inner corner. Really, cougar is the, the lightest color, so I'm gonna kinda mix the two and just kinda blend that in and take a little bit and just kinda highlight that brow bone. And I'm gonna take my big fat brush and just kinda, just kinda soften that out. What you think? Woo, that is pretty. All right, now I'm gonna go in with kind of a flat brush. And I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start with some of this rattlesnake and go right here on the lower lash line with that. all the way across the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Mule and kind of buff it out a little bit with that. Kind of join the top to the bottom. Now, this right here makes me feel very washed out. I'm going to put some lashes on, but I'm gonna put my liner on one side and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I did one side and I want you to see the difference that the black eyeliner makes to break up between the eye and the eyeshadow on the upper lid and the eye and the eyeshadow on the lower lid and how it really makes that pop without making your eyes look so um, tired and washed out. Um, I notice it more with the red than I do with this because I don't feel like this is quite as, um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. I mean, the whites of my eyes look pretty bright without the black, but I just like the way that the black separates. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna finish on this side. Got the wrong product here. I need my little lash glue. And I'm just gonna show you that in action. Let me pull you up a little bit closer. See if you can see what I do. Just a straight line. I go in with my lash. Press it on. Okay, now I wanna show you how easy this is. I don't like the placement of that. So I'm just gonna move it over this way a little bit. And see how easy that was but once I stick it down and get it in place and push it down then it's not going to come out off until I take it off it's not going anywhere it's extremely secure at this point now I'm going to take some of this queen eyeliner and I'm going to place it right here 
on the lower water line. Do my upper water line. Go in with a coat of mascara. And I've got a boo-boo, but I'm gonna leave it here so that I can show you how easy this is to clean up. Um, I went a little farther with my eyeliner than I meant to. And I'm just gonna take my makeup wipe and just take the very corner of it. Well, my eye, my eye um, I mean my mascara wasn't dry. Um, but that took that right off. So, here's the finished look. Um, I don't know, looking at it, if I love these colors on me. Um, the same as the colors that are in the Blooms palette. Um, they're very warm. Um, I don't know. They're still growing on me. But as far as the quality of these Alter Ego palettes... I would never pay a hundred dollars for a palette, let alone a hundred and twenty-nine. Um, and when I can get this for sixteen, you won't catch me paying sixty-five either. It's just not going to happen. Um, I just I have done a video before on expiration dates. They suggest one year on an eyeshadow palette. I'm not going to pay $130 for an eyeshadow palette and throw it away next year. I'm just not going to do it. So anyway, I'm very impressed with the color story. I'm a little more impressed with the performance of the Canyon palette than I am the Blooms palette. Um, some of these colors in the Blooms palette just didn't seem to translate um, onto the eye the same as what it looks like in the pan they're just they're not i don't know if you can see that especially this color right here i mean look i'm putting my finger in there and i'm barely getting pigment um i don't know if that is meant to be a topper um this petunia shade it, it is a dual chrome but you don't you just don't get um it looks very very pink in the pan but you're not getting much pink at all so anyway um i am impressed i don't think you can go wrong paying 16 dollars for uh one of these palettes um i think the more that i work with them and the more i get comfortable with using these kind of shades on my eyes if i do get comfortable um maybe the more i like them but as for right now for 16 dollars for a 15 pan palette highly recommend so anyway i hope you enjoyed this review i think i'm gonna come at you friday um i think i'm gonna spend the next couple of days testing um the uh essence hydrating foundation and the um the wet and wild tinted moisturizer so after i test these i'll get back to you on friday um so uh with that being said enjoy the rest of your day um thank you for supporting my channel and have a wonderful blessed day